Hello YouTube, Rocky3 here, back with another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the San Diego Comic Con exclusive New 52 Shazam from the Signature Collection from Mattel. Yeah, really cool figure. I don't feel like maybe he should have been a Comic Con exclusive since he's kind of a necessary member for your New 52 Justice League. But I did finally get him two days ago at DragonCon 2013. Obviously, when I'm uploading this, it's not two days ago, but for me right now filming it, it's two days ago. And I had a spectacular time. I actually got less stuff than I usually do, but if you guys want to check it out, my haul should already be up on my second channel, Super Friends Benefits. There will be a link to that channel in the description below. I might even throw a link to the haul in there if I remember, or if you guys remind me in the comments. And uh, my Dragon Con footage might not be up now, but I'm definitely going to get it up as quick as possible because it's kind of long and I, gotta, I just got to... Well, it's not long, it's just a lot of footage. Got to get it all up on the second channel as well. So all that'll be on my second channel if you want to check out Dragon Con stuff. But yeah, New 52 Shazam. Comic Con exclusive. I've been wanting this since I heard about his release for my New 52 Justice League. Ah oh, man, we need a cyborg is what we need though. Cyborg, and I'd like a female Adam as well, even though lots of people don't want the female Adam at all. But yeah, let's take a look at packaging for this guy. Now here's the outer box. As you can see it has Billy Batson on the front, starting to say the word. The magic word, Shazam. Uh, signature collection up top, adult collector, of course. Just side, then storm on that side, storm on this side. So pretty just kind of basic, but uh, nice Billy Batson artwork right there. And now here's the main box, the one people will want to display him in. So it's this big, it's his uh, big lightning bolt symbol right here. Shazam across it. They changed, I'm probably going to say Captain Marvel for most of the review, just because that's what I grew up with, that's what I'm used to. I'm not used to calling him Shazam. And it's kind of his suit all the way around and there's him on the back kind of a bio bottom top and the figure itself with the warning so yeah I know lots of people are gonna freak out because it's a comic-con exclusive but you know who cares I'm taking this guy out of packaging here he is folks new 52 signature collection comic-con exclusive Shazam really digging him he's a little nicer than I thought he would be actually uh, really cool. Doesn't come with anything except this uh, hood, which is removable. I'll come up and show you detail and stuff. The hood it doesn't look so great. Look how big it is. Oh my gosh. I mean, it probably would have looked much better if it was sculpted all the way on the head, but then he wouldn't be able to turn his head and etc. But yeah, removable hood. No big deal. Here he is without the hood. He looks pretty nice. Uh, his hair all slicked back. Looks good. There might be a little blue in there too. Huh. And his eyes got the lightning in them. See that? Really cool. Good head sculpt. Looks a lot like Shazam. And then his big lightning bolt symbol. Mine has a scuff on it because, you know, it's not like I could take them all out of the outer box and look at them and make sure they didn't have any scuffs. I mean, I just had to grab one of their boxes, but it's going to scuff right there. Might bother me a little bit, but I'll get over it. It's got all these nice black lines on him. See they're on the arms too. Gold cuffs right there. This gold belt, which he's turned a little bit. Yeah, see his belt right there. And then down the legs, you see his boots have a lot of detail on them, and nice gold. Really good. Really good looking figure. And the cape looks really good from behind. It's nice rubbery cape. It looks good. That looks real nice. Good trim on it. Might even be some shading back there. But yeah, I'm I'm liking the design for this guy. He looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, wow. Those rivets on his cape right there. I mean, nice. Really nice figure. So now let's get into some articulation. This is the first time I'm articulating him, actually. The head doesn't move up and down a lot, which is kind of a disappointment, because he's a flying character. But side to side's just fine. Got up and down, forward and back, bicep swivel, elbow bend, and then a wrist rotation. You've got that ab crunch, and then a, a waist swivel right there. See that? In and out on the legs, forward and back on the legs, thigh swivel, knee bend, foot articulation. Boom. There's his articulation. So now about we get into some size comparisons. Here's our Captain Marvel Shazam with some other Mattel DC figures. 
Here's another figure from the Signature Collection, the Signature Collection Black Mask. And uh, I also have some more Signature Collection stuff I picked up at Comic-Con, so you'll see reviews of that later. Or now, maybe before this, I don't know. Sometimes it just depends. But, uh, yeah, you know, Captain Marvel's just a bit bigger than him, kind of how it should be. He's Captain Marvel's buff, and Black Mask is about, you know, normal person sized. So, yeah, I think... That scales up well. And then here he is with the DC Unlimited New 52 Aquaman. So, scaling up with Aquaman. Because in the Aquaman review, I scaled Aquaman up with the rest of the Justice League up to that point that had been released. So, yeah, you can check out my Aquaman review. And you'll know that Captain Marvel here scales up well with the rest of your Justice League too. Because he scales up well with your Aquaman. And Aquaman scales up well with the rest of the Justice League. So he scales up well with this Aquaman and the rest of your New 52 Justice League. Now here's Shazam with some Movie Masters figures. Here's with the Movie Masters John Blake, who I also picked up at Dragon Con this year. Really cool figure as well. Uh, I got my last bat signal piece, so now I have both lenses, the shattered and the regular. Fantastic. And uh It's kinda too big for John Blake, but you know, if you want to say he's Captain Marvel, so he's just a really big guy, then I guess you can pull it off, but yeah, he is a good bit taller than the John Blake, so might not scale up so well with your Batman Movie Masters. And then here he is with the Green Lantern Movie Master Sinestro. Not the best figure, but still kind of cool. And he doesn't scale up well with the Sinestro at all. The Sinestro is even smaller than the John Blake. So, yeah, he's not going to scale up well with your Green Lantern Movie Masters either. But he might scale up well with some of the bigger ones. Like the non-humanoid ones like Ismot Call and etc. Because I have an Ismot Call and he's pretty big. And you don't really see lots of those lanterns next to each other in the Green Lantern film. I know, because I watched it yesterday, the extended cut. You know, just to pass some time. And, uh, you know, I feel like the Green Lantern movie masters that are just big, weird aliens can be whatever size you feel like you want them to be. So he's not going to scale up well with your humanoid Green Lantern movie masters, but maybe the alien ones you can pull off. But yeah, he is still too big for movie masters in general, though. So yeah, here's Captain Marvel with some DC Directs. He uses the Batman Incorporated Knight, who's only a little bit taller and bigger than Captain Marvel, but still kind of out of scale. You know, it's not quite right, it, but it's uh, it's livable, I guess. Still out of scale, though. I have to say, still out of scale. And then there's the Brightest Day Hawk, who's a little taller than the Knight, even. So. He doesn't scale up well with the Captain Marvel either, so your Shazam isn't going to scale up well with your DC Directs. And I'm sorry I keep switching between Captain Marvel and Shazam. It's just trying to modernize. It's a little hard sometimes. So what are my final thoughts on the Signature Collection Comic-Con exclusive New 52 Shazam from Mattel? Well, he's a pretty cool figure. I've been real excited about him, and he didn't disappoint. Didn't disappoint at all. He was exactly what I expected him to be. Uh, I knew the hood would look ridiculous from the moment I saw pictures of him online. <laughs> but it's removable, so it's not a big deal. And if it wasn't removable, you wouldn't be turning that head at all. So, thank you, Mattel, for thinking about that beforehand. And the cape looks great, the body looks great, that lightning bolt is painted real well. The gold looked great, they threw extra detail in here. I mean, they did a little more work since he's a Comic-Con exclusive, you can tell. I didn't feel like this character maybe should have been a Comic-Con exclusive, because as I said before, he is necessary in your Justice League. But he scales up well with your Justice League and your other Mattel figures minus Movie Masters, so he's going to go well with your DC and Ma Batman Unlimited. going to go well with your Signature Collection, your DC Universe Classics, All-Stars, all that stuff he's going to scale up great with. So you don't have to worry about that at all. Now I just wish we could get a new 52 Black Adam, that'd be pretty cool, right? But yeah, Captain Marvel, Shazam. Really cool figure, highly recommended for Comic-Con exclusive fans, DC fans, Justice League fans, because you need him to complete your Justice League, you really do. And as much as I wish we'd get a Cyborg, which is one of the most useful members in the Justice League, so we really need him, and the female Adam, who I can live without but still want, you know, I'm glad we got him, because he replaced Green Lantern, so he's also really necessary. But, yeah, you know what? That's it for now, you guys. I'm going to give this Shazam 5 out of 5 stars. He's really cool. I'm not disappointed with him at all. I'm not just giving him that because he's a Comic-Con exclusive. And I'm not just giving him that because I got him from Dragon Con. I honestly believe 
he is worth the money I paid for him. He is a cool figure. Don't get gypped for him, though. Pay between, like, 30 and 45 maybe. That's what, well, for now. Maybe a few years he might go up in price, depending on demand and stuff. You know, who knows, but 2013, maybe 2014, don't, don't pay too much for him. But he is a cool, cool figure. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you want to check out my DragonCon footage, check out my second channel. Links in the description below, DragonCon haul, and everything. So, yes, thank you all so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go do homework now. Thank you so much, guys. See you all later.